As it is Mental Health Awareness Month, Saint, and St. Joseph, along with many rural areas of the state, say they're struggling with meeting the demand. KQ2's hometown this morning anchor Jody O'Brien spoke to those on the front lines. 101 people had access to the behavioral health urgent care in the first 18 days. 101 people in the first 18 days. We could begin and end the story right there. Those on the front line say the clinic is a ray of hope. The reality? If you aren't in an emergency situation yet are still struggling and reach out for help, it can be a long, excruciating wait time. It takes a lot to get somebody to the point of saying, I think I really need some help here and being willing to reach out. So we already know that that person is really struggling at the point that they're making that phone call and, and trying to get into a psychiatrist. And then when you hear that eight to 12 week wait time, um, you know that that person is going to continue to struggle, probably continue to have an increase in symptoms that you know are going to be really debilitating to them. Many ask if the local system is broken. Small business owner Drew Fisher says yes. Since graduating and beginning his solo business seven years ago, he has seen a perfect storm brewing. In the state of Missouri, we're not allowed to bill insurance for the provisionally licensed individuals. So we're able to allow people to get in by paying cash to these individuals. Gentry says there's another problem. When practitioners are recruited to Northwest Missouri, they can't get their practices insured. If you asked the insurance companies, many of them would say that they will not panel another licensed clinical social worker because the area is flooded with providers, yet that's not what we're seeing. We're seeing a great deal of need and all of the providers are filled up and, and that makes it really challenging. So that's created a population of psychiatric nurse practitioners as well. Um, unfortunately, they can't prescribe any medication without um, a physician consultation on a biweekly basis. Um, and, and really, if you're prescribing medication, they want to have a psychiatrist, and there's a lot of other regulation, like I think a psychiatrist has to be within 75 minutes or 75 miles, somewhere along those lines. So that creates a lot of barriers, you know, and then, you know, if a small business like myself, you know, I want to hire a nurse practitioner, uh, but I also have to hire a psychiatrist as well, and that is like winning the lottery to get the psychiatrist to oversee the nurse practitioner. So there, it creates a lot of barriers and, and, and hurdles just for the pro provider to provide the services to our community. Gentry and Fisher agree. There is not any one agency or person who has the corner market on helping people in St. Joe. It really does take a village. Jody O'Brien, KQ2 News.